you know, the holiday season can be exciting yet very stressful. What are some simple ways we can turn our homes into comfortable, cozy spaces? Well, I think everyone wants their homes to be comfortable and cozy during the holidays. That's kind of everyone's wish, but it can become really daunting. It can feel like so much to do. So I think you have to break it down. I like to start in the kitchen. I think that's the heartbeat of the home. I think that's where everybody congregates into, whether it's family or you have guests over. I think that Preparing and sharing meals at home is something that's so important during the holidays. I think if you're not intentional about it, you can end up ordering takeout for the entire month of December. And so before the craziness sets in, I think you step back and take a look at your kitchen. Take a look at your appliances. See if they need updating. And not just talking about, you know, fridges and stoves, which there's great deals going on for those, but think through like smaller scale appliances too. Smaller kitchen gadgets. Uh, I was just introduced this year to an air fryer and it is my new go-to. I have four kids and uh, they're convinced that mom doesn't care about healthy food anymore because we keep making things with this air fryer that tastes so good that they think they're having a treat. They think that we're eating tons of fried food. And so going into the holidays, I really want to come up with some new holiday recipes to use with that air fryer. And for me, that's kind of my anti-excuse. It's making me not get takeout and I'm going to use this and it's going to be something that we do together and we share that meal. And that whole feeling is to me what makes our home feel cozy and welcoming during the holidays. You are going to be obsessed with it. I've had mine for two years. I make Ooh. french fries, grilled asparagus, oh. bacon, stromboli. Amazing. Oh my gosh, you're going to love it. <laughs> I just got, someone just gave me a fried goat cheese recipe and I'm so jazzed to try that. So, oh yum, that sounds amazing. Doesn't it? What are some of your favorite ways to decorate for the holidays? So I am passionate about decorating for the holidays. I'm fully decorated already. I would start in July if I could. <laughs> um, I think that a lot of people just don't really know where to begin. So I would say choose a theme for your decor. And that's not to make your home look magazine worthy. It's actually to make it easier on you. If you pick a theme, then you know that everything's going to be kind of cohesive. We bring so much stuff into our homes during the holidays that it can feel really chaotic. So choose a theme. Maybe it's classic, maybe it's vintage, maybe it's whimsical, and carry that through. Everything from your tree to your lights to your garland, all the way down to your smaller scale accessories. This little ceramic vintage tree is something that's going to be in my home this season, and it's part of Lowe's Whimsical Wonderland collection. When I saw this, I was so into it because my grandma had one that looked just like this growing up. So it gave me massive nostalgic vibes, but it also works really well within the theme for my family this year. We're going light and bright and colorful. And here's the thing. I would love a sophisticated <laughs> Christmas theme, but right now with young kids, that's just not our life. We could not have a sophisticated house if I tried. So we're really embracing where we're at in our life stage right now and then reflecting that within our theme. So I think the theme helps act as a guide and make decorating much more enjoyable and easier. Absolutely. And I'm with you. I love decorating early. But in your opinion, how early is too early to put up the Christmas tree? <laughs> I am not the one to ask about this because I'd be like, <laughs> do it in July. Really, just do it. Same here. <laughs> Keep it up all year long. I think the real answer is that there's no wrong time to start bringing in holiday spirit into your home. So do it when it feels right. For most people, that's going to probably be the day after Thanksgiving. And my biggest tip here would be to remember that it, it isn't one and done. It doesn't all have to happen at once. So maybe you take a day and you start with your outdoor lights and then you move into bringing the tree into your home. I think that when you bring your tree in, that's when the ma that's when the magic really comes into your home and everything just starts feeling so seasonally appropriate. Um, and then I feel like the biggest thing is you can add holiday elements all throughout the month. It isn't just one day you have to commit to it. Now, the only thing I would say is that even if you're going to decorate on Christmas Eve, December 24th, I love a good deal. So I'm going to take advantage of Black Friday sales. I know at Lowe's, they start now all the way through the first week in December. So you're going from Black Friday through December. I'm going to take advantage of those deals, stock up on everything from my ornaments to my icicle lights, from my ribbon, my poinsettias, everything I need, and then decorate at your own pace. So just because you're choosing to decorate a little later doesn't mean that you should miss out on some awesome deals. Absolutely. And shopping for everyone on your list can be overwhelming. Do you have any tips on how we can choose the best gifts for everyone on our list? Yes, I do. I'm a huge gift giver. I think that giving a meaningful, thoughtful gift is, there's just nothing like it. 
But when there's 20 people on your list and they all have different interests, that can have you running all around town and it can become stressful instead of enjoyable. So for me, my goal is to do one-stop shopping. So I'm going into Lowe's and I'm thinking of everybody on my list and the different there are different likes and interests. So I have friends that are major techies. This year, I am giving them smart home gadgets. There are thousands of options, all the big names, Nest, Ring, Google, Amazon, they're all there. So that's what they're getting. My mom is a super clean freak. So this year, I'm getting her a handheld cordless Dyson vacuum. Mom, I hope you're not watching. Mm -hmm. um, and I know she's really gonna like that. I have a lot of friends that are like me or want to be in terms of being a DIYer. They have a home and they're trying to renovate and they're trying to really personalize their space. And so for them, okay, this is like my number one gift that I'm giving a lot of people this year is a Craftsman Tool Combo Kit. It has a drill driver and an impact driver. And I know that when I started out as a DIYer, this is something I used all the time. So this is the perfect gift for all the weekend warriors on my list. So really it comes down to you wanna get the right gift, you wanna get a thoughtful gift, but you also wanna enjoy the process. So do it all in one place. Lowe's has everything you need. And do you have any additional tips or information like to share with us? Well, I just think that definitely remember that Black Friday isn't just one day. It goes all through the month. There's some awesome door busters that are going to be offered in there and really just Go to the website, head to Lowe's.com, but also go into the store. There's so much inspiration in there, for all the way from gift-giving inspiration to gadgets for the kitchen, like I mentioned, all the way through to decor that can help you choose your own theme. And for me, going in and walking the aisles is what got me inspired and got me ready to decorate. And you have so many awesome DIY tips on your Instagram. Can you share that as well? Yeah, so my Instagram is just Monica Mangan, and we will be sharing tons of holiday ideas. We just did seven trees with all items from Lowe's, so I'll be sharing each one of those starting soon. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. And can I embed any of those pictures on the blog with the interview? Yeah, I absolutely think so. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Monica. It was a pleasure speaking with you today. Have a great afternoon and happy holidays. Thanks, you too.